Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Man, I had the honor of speaking and interviewing Trigger 600, and we did a lot of talking on the camera and off the camera, where he spoke about how D-Thang and a few others, Lil Boo, created 600. And when they created 600, it was meant to be just kind of like, you know, I don't want to say a gang of shorties, but shorties who standing on business. And when 600 was out here doing their thing, they was actually looked at it kind of like the face of drill, of Chicago drill for a, for a um, minute, a nice long minute. Um, D thing passed, and I say a lot of people held it down, like Tay 600 and everybody else. But the person I just mentioned went on Instagram today and kind of spoke about everything that you see on the screen right now. Just kind of how everything I said about how it was started and what it ended up becoming kind of started to crumble. And I don't want to say after E-Day died, but... I don't know if, not if a lot of y'all knew. I knew it because I talked to Trigger, and Ede actually had a label. When he signed Mimo 600, Mimo spoke on it too. Remember, he had the little bitty uh, Team 600 chain that used to hang on his neck. Now, if you see 600 Breezy and everybody else got it, uh, I talked to Famous. He was actually the, he spoke about how they had um, an imprint deal with Gazi. So, six, Team 600 uh, was being backed by Empire and Gazi. So, they was able to actually sign people. And Mimo spoke about it too, how pretty much. Um, D thing had to bottom out their contract. Now fast forward to today, you know, E Day passed away and like I said, there's other members who still rocking the team six hundred chain, but where's all the members? So from what I see it seems like Mimo, not an outcast because he still go to his hood, but his connection ain't the same. Trigger holding shit down, doing what he do, you know, got the gun line, the new 600. And I, I, that when he said the new 600, that caused the uproar from a lot of 600 members who kind of already have friction with each other because Ain't no new 600 in their eyes. But as you see what Tay 600 say, it goes back to everything that I just said about um, make 600 great again, never go against the game, uh, go against the grain. Because Trigger in the interview we did say he felt like Mimo ain't making shit right with the guys, but he making shit right with the ops. You know that's causing friction. Amongst a lot of other things that they got going on, they still trying to keep the record label pushing, but where is all the members? Tay 600 being accused of snitching. Mimo, they ain't rocking with him. Trigger just got out from doing the bid, and he trying to get his feet wet and get every, do everything he got to do to keep the name alive. You know, I still see Famous doing this thing, but it's like, it's not the same. And I think that's what Tay 600 was speaking on, not even on no street shit. It's just they actually had a real music label, and a lot of people didn't know that. And just imagine if everybody who went to go sign the dirt signed to Team 600. They, if they would have just stayed down and made OTF an affiliation and not they back in imprint and all that shit, then I believe 600 wouldn't even be spoke about the way Tay 600 is speaking about it now. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.